So, a few years ago, some Lamborghini engineers, together with researchers at MIT, came up with a car design that's straight out of the far future. The Terzo Millennio, which means third millennium in Italian, is a car that's capable of repairing itself. So, how does the new technology used in the car actually work? The whole thing is covered in a large number of special sensors. They examine the car's health, detecting any damage or deterioration. If the sensors find cracks, the car will repair them by filling them in with special nanotubes. This prevents the problem from spreading. The CEO of Lamborghini says the Terzo Millennio will allow the company to revolutionize the world of engineering. And he could be right. The self-repairing technology could rewrite the rules, not only for sports cars, but for all kinds of machines. Imagine what it would be like if all your gadgets and home appliances could automatically recover from wear and tear the same way your skin does. The engineers also have made another breakthrough by designing the car to be all-electric. The Terzo Millennio uses supercapacitors instead of batteries, because they can be charged faster and contain more energy. They've been designed to capture and release energy all at the same time, in order to improve the performance of the Lamborghini and stop it being dependent on the chemical reactions that take place in ordinary batteries. The supercapacitors are made from carbon, which means they can be integrated into the car's body panel since they're way smaller and lighter than standard batteries. The car also has no engine in the conventional sense. Instead, each wheel has its own electric engine, so that the amount of torque can be controlled for each of them individually. This makes the Terzo Millennio comparable to a modern Formula One car. It also means that the Terzo is effectively an all-wheel drive. As for the numbers, they're no less impressive than the Lamborghini's futuristic abilities. The car is the first product of a three-year, $120 million partnership. The Terzo Millennio's top speed is nearly 220 miles per hour which is the same speed as an arrow shot from a bow. It has 838 horsepower, which is comparable to several herds of wild horses in a prairie. But you won't hear the roar of the engine, even with that amount of power. The Terzo Millennio was recently shown at the 33rd Annual International Automobile Festival in Paris. The most interesting designs for modern cars are chosen here. But the Lamborghini lost out to the Mazda Concept Vision Coupe, which is another car with an incredible design. If we look at this car, we can see that the Mazda and the Lamborghini are two extremes of the same basic idea. The Lamborghini looks a little like a starship on wheels for bad guys, while the Mazda is the embodiment of futuristic grace. However, the Mazda Coupe doesn't boast the same technology as the Terzo Millennio. Another important feature of the Terzo is its automated function. For now, this can be used only on a racetrack, which you might think is a big disadvantage. But let's look at the details. The Terzo has a computer system that allows the car to drive itself around absolutely any racetrack without problems. Once the Lamborghini has completed a lap around the track on its own, it's ready to become a teacher for the driver. Its technology can instruct them on how to perform a lap around the track just as fast and skillfully as the Lamborghini itself can do it. But how exactly does it work? Well, you could say the Terzo Millennio is going to be the most expensive games console in history. Have you ever played one of those video games where you compete on a racetrack with a ghost of your previous lap? The Terzo Millennio uses augmented reality technology to do the same thing. But never mind motorsports. What if you want to see the car parked in your garage or backyard, ready for an ordinary drive? Well, the price tag is also impressive. According to some estimates, the Terzo Millennio will cost around $3 million. That's about as much as a really good house in Beverly Hills, or even your very own island in the ocean. So why would someone buy it? Well, maybe the opportunity to become part of the high-tech future means it's worth it. However, Mazda and Lamborghini are not the only super-futuristic cars out there. The pop-up, made by Ital Design and Airbus, won the grand prize for futuristic city cars at the 33rd International Automobile Festival. Wondering why Airbus was involved? This makes sense when you realize it's both a car and a plane. The pop-up is made of three different modules – a passenger capsule, the ground module, and the air module. 
It was designed for mega-city journeys of the future, when our cities might become as big as entire countries. However, that doesn't mean the car itself is going to be huge to fit the size of a megacity. To make things convenient for everybody, Airbus and Natal Design made it quite compact. The idea is simple but ingenious. You walk outside and get into your sleek car from the future, or more accurately, into the passenger capsule. This is attached to a ground module. A computer scans your face and checks some other details to confirm your identity. It then drives you automatically to the nearest changing station. When you arrive at the station, the ground module is replaced by the air module, and now you can fly to your final destination on the other side of the megacity. The modules go to the recharge station after use until someone else needs them. That way, nobody needs to store them in their garage or at home. This also means that fewer modules need to be manufactured, which will be less harmful for the environment. One more concept car we might one day see is the Renault Symbios. Just like the others, it looks sleek and futuristic, but here, the main goal is physical comfort. In fact, Renault engineers say that the car will become part of your house. The car's interior looks like a well-designed living room. The special materials and shapes of the furniture inside have been designed to make you feel completely at home in the vehicle. The seats can also be rotated 180 degrees, offering you a totally new driving experience. This feature makes it easier and more comfortable to communicate with other passengers. Wait, what? Driving while chatting doesn't seem very safe. Uh, but don't worry, this car is self-driving, so just relax and enjoy the trip. The Symbios is going to be part of an interconnected technological ecosystem created entirely by Renault. For example, the vehicle will be charged at home automatically, so you won't have to go to any dedicated stations. Your car will even be able to spare some of its excess energy to power your house if needed. The Renault engineers imagine a perfect system of home and car that will satisfy its own energy needs all by itself. Oh, I can't wait!